Welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to upload project activities in the stream. Well, we're living at a time where project activities are mandatory in our learning, in our virtual learning. Therefore, after students have completed their project activities, it could be a video, it could be a photo, it could be a file, or even a link. So up here we have stream, classwork, and people. So what you do, the teacher or the learner clicks on stream. Then where it says announce something to your class, you click on that. Then you write your name. For me, I write uh, Miss Irene. And uh, my project work is a village. So I need you to see something. Once I have typed, the post button becomes active. But if there is no typing that has been done up here, the post button is hazy. So I'll return. Miss Irene, my project work on, on a village. I'll click on add. My work is already on Google Drive. However, it could be on a file. Let's say file because most people would prefer to upload probably a video or a, or a photo directly to their laptop. Probably save it in a folder. So you click on file. From your click on uh, because a recent goes to your drive. But now I want to upload. So I'll click on browse. Then, because I had just downloaded it, a village, here it is, I'll just click on it, and click on open, it will upload. Once it uploads, that means it has also gone to the drive, because there's a drive icon, a hazy one though, although I've gotten my work from the file. And then I click on post. But what if it was a... a uh, my project activity was in the drive. I'll click on click on uh, announce something to your class. I'll type again my name, and I will click on add. Please take note that uh, the post button has become active. It was hazy before. Click on add drive. Now. It is the most recent thing I have uploaded. So click on a village, that's my work, and upload. Then I post. So it is easy for the teacher to mark the learners' activities if they are uploaded in the stream.